What's up guys, welcome back to another quick uh, little redstone slash command block tutorial. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys today how you can clone chests. Um, it's very simple. Uh, there are two different ways that you can choose to do this. This could be very useful if you wanted to, in an adventure map, make a chest appear that was not there before and if you wanted to have a certain configuration of items in the chest, like you see over here, I have another item get spelling out high. Uh, if I press this command block, then right over here, a chest will appear. It's really just cloning that chest, but if this was blocked off and you couldn't see the other chests, say this was in a room, then it would seem as though the chest is just appearing, and the only thing you need to do is hook up whatever kind of redstone signal is most convenient to a command block that is essentially cloning this chest or there's an alternate method and I'll drop some netherite ingots um, this is another method which is using an ender chest you see I have the same thing in here and all you have to do with an ender chest since if you place another one somewhere else it'll have the same stuff in it all you have to do with that is fill just this one block with an ender chest. So you see this is a fill command whereas this is a clone command. If I fill then it will place an ender chest. However it changes the orientation of it, at least in this case it does, so you might end up having to mess with that. But it's about that simple. I'll go ahead and type in the command for you guys and show you exactly how I set this up. So I'll just come over here and do it from here. If I place a chest and use these netherite ingots to spell out high, then all I'm going to have to do is make sure I have a command block. And in that command block, I'm going to be using two different coordinates. The one coordinate is where this chest is, and the other one is where we're putting the chest. So if I stand on this, which is where I'm putting the chest, it is 263.61. So if I type in slash fill... Two, I can actually even tab it in, except 63, 61. If I do that, it will say error, but now I can remember where it is. And if I stand on the chest, now this is different if you are standing on a solid block. If you're standing on a solid block, you see my Y is 64, but since the chest is not a solid block, standing on it shows Y63, which is the block that you want to clone. Um, so if you stand on top of the chest, that coordinate up there in the top left is the one you want. So 192, 63, 66. So what you're going to do is type in clone 192, 63, 66. And I'm going to, yeah, 192. And then you're going to want to type that in twice. So 192, 63, 66. 192, 63, 66. And after you type that in twice, you're going to type in the other coordinate from over there. So if I go into the chat here, I can see 263, 61. And I'm just going to type this one in once. So 263, 61. And that's all you have to do for that command. The reason that you type the first coordinate in twice is because the clone command can be used for obviously more than just one block. If I were cloning this shape right here, then I would take the coordinate from one corner and the other corner. So it needs two coordinates in the first set. So this pair of three right here is the first coordinate. This pair right here is the second coordinate, but they're the same because it's just one block. And then the last three are the ones that you're going to. So now if I do this here, I'll, mess this up somehow so that you can see it's cloning exactly how I have it there. If I do that, it shows up over here and you can see just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and break that, get my ingots back, and then for the ender chest, which is really simple, um, the reason this has that written in it is because uh, it was in that one. but. All you have to do for the ender chest is have one ender chest somewhere with random stuff in it, and then you're just going to type slash fill, or in a command block, fill, and then your target coordinate. 
which is 263.66. It's where you want it to go. And you're just going to type that in twice because, once again, it's only one block. So you just have to type the same coordinate in twice. And then Ender Chest, just like that. And that's it for that as well. Fill with the Ender Chest. Why did it not fill it? 200. I typed in the wrong Z coordinate. It filled the one next to it. We don't talk about this. That's a little bit embarrassing. Shh. There we go. See, it worked. First try. Boom. Perfect. Amazing. Ha ha ha. And there it is. So, anyways, sorry I just totally messed that up there, but we don't talk about that. <laughs> I hope you guys found this useful and that you that you like the video make sure you leave a like down below and any comments on other command block or redstone tutorials that you think I should do make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell to receive notifications when I post new videos and I will see you guys next time